How you doing? I'm Jimmy McDougal. Used to be Jimmy Falcone. I may be living like a jerk in witness protection, but back in the day, I was a made guy. I was the head of a crew and no one could touch me. Basically, I had it made. It's a funny story how that happened. This one night, they told me to keep Don Gambini away from his house because his wife was throwing him a surprise birthday party. Everyone's acting all weird and secretive, Jimmy. I'm telling you, something's going on. If I screwed up the surprise, his wife would kill me. Literally. She was built like a lumberjack and she was real good with an axe. Anyway, I shall get going. We just got here, boss. At least finish your drink. Hey, look. Look at Cheech go. <laughs> I could swear I just finished that. The thing about the Don was, he got jumpy when he drank too much. Who did that? I'll plug you, you rat! But I got him home in time, just like I was supposed to. I guess the surprise was on them. The Don took out so many guys that night, I wound up getting made. But if you think I still got it made here in Regina, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Someone's in a good mood. What can I say? The sun's up, the sky's blue, and me and Cheech are going to the track. My money's on third and the fifth. Who the hell names a horse third anyway? Isn't there something you want to say to me, Jimmy? What's for breakfast? No, something else. Um... Uh... Oh, right, you got your head done. Looks good. No, I didn't, you moron. You got no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Have a nice freaking day at the track. I hope a horse craps on you. Me too. It's good luck. You get the feeling Cookie was mad? What are you talking about? She said have a nice freaking day at the track, didn't she? Get a load of this. McCool's bringing me flowers. Don't be silly, Jimmy. These aren't for you, they're for Cookie. Hold up there, Kimosabi. You want to explain why you're bringing my wife flowers? And believe me, there's no right answer to that question. Ah, uh, Jimmy, your sense of humor is like a fresh breeze off the Canadian Rockies. Do I look like I'm joking? Seriously, tell me, because I can't see my own face. What a card you are, Jimmy. These are for Cookie's birthday. Oh, crap! Listen, you gotta help me out. Give me those flowers. Certainly not. I cultivated, picked, and arranged these myself. Well, would you look at that? Special Agent McCool remembered what Mr. What's for Breakfast over here forgot. Thank you, McCool. You are most welcome. Many happy returns, Cookie. For Canada, where no one forgets your birthday! Unless his name's Jimmy McDougal. Whoa, Cook, you got it all wrong. I know it's your birthday. I got a, a big surprise planned for you. Is that so? Well, I'm calling you bluff. Give me those. You're not pulling together some crappy gift at the last minute. Cook, I got a surprise planned like you wouldn't believe. Prepare to have your mind blown. Yeah? Well, prepare to never get blown again. I know a load of bullshit when I hear it. Jimmy, if we're not going to the track, can you let me out? Petey, why are my Cosmo pages all stuck together? Whoa. What are you doing? I realized what my biggest problem is when it comes to girls. That you're a complete loser? No, not that. The problem is, I don't know how to break the ice. So, I built a robot to do it for me. You sure that's a good idea? Last time you built one, it didn't work out so well. First rule of Robot Fight Club, build a robot. Second rule of Robot Fight Club, program that robot to fight. Petybot is programmed to meet, charm, and disarm girls. Then I step in to seal the deal. 
that won't work. He's still you. Just wait until you hear him say something suave. Something suave. <laughs> Ooh, Petey, aren't you going to introduce me to your robot friend? Ew. So you forgot Cookie's birthday. Big deal. She has one almost every year. She'll get over it. Oh, yeah? Remember the time I spent in the hospital back in New York? Sure. When it was jackoffs from the Venucci crew plugged you. It wasn't the Venucci's, it was Cookie. I forgot our anniversary and she put one in me. That was Cookie? Right on. We went to war with the Venucci's over that one. I know. A lot of lives were lost, Jimmy. Yeah, I get it, Cheech. I mean, some of our best guys. Drop it, will you? Fine. I gotta get ready anyways. For what? I needed some me time. So, I got a ticket to this all-gal review. All gal review? You mean like strippers? Ah, it's classy. Dinner and a show. Like the nightclubs in the old days before they all turned into discus. Dinner and a show? That's perfect! Cookie loves that kind of crap. I'll order tickets right now. Give me a laptop. No can do. It broke. All right, let's see some nakeds. Holy shit, it's Chief Falcone! No, it ain't. Okay, it is. How you been, Carmine? I'm gonna get you, you stinking rat! Miss me, you son of a bitch! All right, listen. I've had a crush on her for weeks, but I've never been able to talk to her. Go introduce yourself, charm the pants off her, and set up a date. Affirmative. Remove. Girls. Pants. No, that's just an expression. Come here. I will charm the girl. That's better. Go get her! This is gonna be great. Goodbye, loneliness. Goodbye, Cosmo magazine. Goodbye, crinkly socks. <laughs> yes, it worked! No, it worked too well! How is she Frenching him? He doesn't even have a tongue. Broken hips and wrinkly lips, a geriatric review. I don't know how you did it, but this is definitely a surprise. I gotta admit, I'm kinda hurt you didn't trust me, Cook. Give me two. Good seats. Three hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks? Man, I should become a scalper. Is that word offensive to you people? Not at all. Five hundred bucks. It's the wreck to me! It's the wreck to you! It's the wreck to me! It's the wreck to you! What a show! What? Huh? Oh, yeah! Bravo! I loved it! Mm. Especially that one song, Hot Flash Dance. I like the number where they fell and couldn't get up. It really spoke to me. Let's go backstage, Jimmy. I want to get an autograph. You coming? Nah, I'm gonna head home and see what I can do with the hole I blew in my laptop. If there's a tie on my door, don't come in. This job must be so much fun. When I was a kid, I wanted to be on Broadway. When I was a kid, I wanted to extort the unions on Broadway. <gasps> Jimmy? Uh... Are you Jimmy Falcone? What? No, you got the wrong guy. I don't know no Jimmy Falcone. Ah, crap, you've been recognized. Go call him a cool. All right, if it comes down to it and you got a whacker, get me an autograph first. Listen, lady, if I was you, I'd have a senior moment and forget you ever saw me. It's me, kid. It's you. You who? Me, your pop, Sal Falcone. Listen, you sick maniac, my pop is dead. And I'm not Jimmy Falcone. Drop the act, Jimmy. I know you're in witness protection. Don't worry. I'm not gonna rat out my own son. I hate to break it to you, Looney Tunes, but my father was a man. Not anymore, I ain't. Come here, kid. So, it's probably wrong that I have a boner right now, isn't it? Look, lady, I got no idea who you are, but there's no freaking way you're Jimmy's father. Yeah, my pop disappeared when I was 13. We all figured the Tortellini family offed him. And I hate to keep hopping on this, but he wasn't abroad. I swear on the eyes of my only son, which is you, that I used to be Sal Falcone. Okay, Sal Falcone. What was my mother's name? Apollonia Maria Teresa Falcone. Lucky guess. What about her maiden name? Butchino. Not bad. Okay, so when was I born? A little too soon after the wedding, <laughs> if you know what I mean. This is crazy! Are you an actual woman or just dressed up like one? Uh, let me explain. Jimmy, I loved your mother. She was a beautiful woman, but deep down, I always felt like a broad trapped inside a man's body. Of course, the mob don't look too kindly on that kind of thing. I had to be careful. It was starting to affect my work. I couldn't stop. 
I started taking stupid risks. I knew if I got caught, my friends would whack me. So I left to start a new life where I could finally, surgically, become a woman. Since then, I've been living as Sally Monero. That's quite a... I mean, what? Pick your goals down, down, down! Hey! hey what's the big idea? All right, we've neutralized the threat. You're safe for now. I'll take her downtown, grill her, and assess the situation. Don't worry, Jimmy. Canada has your back. I don't know about you, but I need a drink. Make mine a double, then double it. What are you doing here? I am waiting for my date. I'm the one who's supposed to go on the dates. You're supposed to step aside and let me jump in. When the time is right. When is that gonna be? Indeterminate. Need additional data. Come on, you're just jerking me around. Indeterminate. Need additional data. This is not what I programmed you for. Hide, here she comes. Your presence is agreeable. Is that a new hat? Oh, come on! Should I jump in now? Not yet. Now? Not yet. Uh, now? Not yet. Uh, uh. Why did I make him anatomically correct? So, what did she say? Good news, Jimmy. There's absolutely no risk of her informing on you. In fact, she's in more danger from the mob than you are. You merely broke a blood oath that you swore on your life to uphold. She turned into a lady. They hate that. Mm. Don't be that way, Jimmy. She's a delightful person with a wonderful sense of humor and a sparkling personality. Don't get any ideas, big guy. So now what? Do you make her disappear or do I? Disappear? Au contraire, I suggest you spend some time with her before she leaves town. I too lost my father at a young age and not a day goes by I don't wish for a chance to speak to him again. To say, father, why do you care more about huffing gasoline and chasing Thai lady boys than you do your own son? But alas, I cannot. This is a gift, Jimmy. Open it. I think I'll just return it for store credit. Family is for life. All sales are final. For Canada! Where it's not gay to be with a transgender! Hey! It's 4.15 and you're drunk? I had some soup at lunch and it was so good and then a bunch of my friends were having soup and then I just got crazy. <laughs> crazy. That soup is so f***ing good. You know your robot is nailing anything that moves at school. What? He broke up with Sheila, then started seeing Jenna, and broke up with her and saw Anna for a while, and now he's fooling around with Kelly. Dude is a player. You should get in on that action. I'm gonna hurl. Listen, Buster. I programmed you to get me a girlfriend, not to bang every girl in school. According to PDBot's calculations, the only chance of you having a girlfriend is if PDBot has one for you. That's insane! What can I say? Players gonna play, haters gonna hate, yo. Hey, Grandpa Marcel, when you turned into a lady, did the operation hurt? What operation, kid? I went into a cocoon. <laughs> hey, whose car is in the... Gotta go! Not so fast, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my god, Daddy! Your daddy is so much fun! You got lovely kids here, Jimmy! <laughs> what the hell is he... She doing here. I went to apologize for getting her arrested. We got to talking, and I realized she's family. So what? Now every Tom, no Dick, and Sally who shows up is family? Give her a chance, will you? No thanks. You get your ass over there and enjoy your goddamn family. No, Jimmy, where you going? Don't run out. What? Like you did to me? What an asshole. Pull over! We need to talk! No! We got some things to work out. No, we don't! Come on, kid! We gotta deal with this! I don't gotta do nothing!
Jimmy, can you? Hey! This ain't over, Jimmy! Damn it, I chipped a nail. That's for not calling me. Ugh. That's for sleeping with my sister. Ugh. That's from my mom. Oh. Your presence is agreeable. Oh, the guy's a machine. Police deny the helicopter crash had anything to do with a recent epidemic of teenage drunkenness. Hey, when is Grandpa Marcel gonna visit again? She's gonna show me how to off a guy with a scrunchie. She ain't coming back to this house. You kidding me? Why not? I don't want her around you. You're taking away the one woman I can actually learn something useful from. What? You're seriously robbing me of the only strong female role model in my life? I'm standing right here. Gina, I'm your father, and I can rob you of whatever the hell I want. Jimmy, that's enough. Don't listen to him, Gina. Go get yourself a cookie. What's the matter with you? Are you going to crap on everyone just because your father changed into a woman? Nah, that's his freaking business. What am I going to do, change him back? So what are you pissed off about? I'm pissed off because he left me! He never even said goodbye! Why? What did I do? Was there something wrong with me? Wasn't I good enough? Oh, Jimmy, it wasn't your fault. Jesus Christ, what is this, an after-school special? Hey, Gina, get down here. There's someone who wants to see you. Grandpa Marcel's here? Nope, better than that. I'm real sorry for yelling at you. So I got you a pony. What the hell I need a pony for? Because you're the best little girl in the world and you deserve it. I don't want a pony. Sure you do, it's great. You can comb her hair, have tea parties, ride her around. You don't know me at all, do you, Pop? Of course I do. What kind of a father would I be if I didn't know my little girl? Come on, give her a spin. I don't wanna. It smells like Cheech's room. Just try it, will ya? Here, over here. Here, boy. Here, horse. Here, pony. Come on, pony. Come on. Come on, you f***ing horse. <laughs> you trying to kill me, Pop? What the hell's the matter with you? Have fun, sweetie. Oh, you. I am a good father. Come on. Sweetie? <gasps> Daddy, what are you doing? Just checking in with my favorite oldest daughter. How about things, kid? How's your life? Fine, but I'm kind of busy right now. Just wanted to see how you're feeling. A little weirded out. Are you dying or something? No, no, I'm just fine. And I'm never leaving you. Well, at some point you're gonna die. Look, nobody's dying. I'm gonna kill you, Jimmy. What the hell are you doing buying Gina a psychotic pony? What? I'm just trying to be a good father. You're already a good father, mostly. Stop trying to prove it before you kill someone. It's Sally you need to work things out with. Now go talk to her, you big dope. She's right, Daddy. Go do that right now, like immediately. Yeah, get your head out of your ass, will ya? <sighs> You're right. I should probably go talk to him. Her. Darren, you can come out now. Darren? Darren? <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, pick up, pick up. It's an emergency, damn it. Hey. Oh, hey, Brad. Turns out I am free tonight. What are you doing? I'm sorry, but for the good of those girls and the continued survival of my nads, I need to power you down. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Petey. Hasta la vista, Petey Bot. <laughs> Wrong remote. I installed that. I am sorry, Petey, but it is you that must be terminated. Why do robots always turn on their masters? Why do masters always anger their robots? No, no. Damn it, that's of no use to me. Violence is never a solution. <laughs> okay, maybe under some circumstances. Hey, what's with all the racket? I killed. Petey Bot. No, I killed Petey Bot. No, I killed Petey Bot. Okay, I'm bored. Pop, wait! <clears throat> you got the stuff. You got the money. Ow! Ah, the mother! Who's in your trunk? A cop? 
What the hell you doing, Pop? What's it look like? I'm selling weed. You kidding me? Hey, you can take the fella out of good fella, but that don't make him good. What the hell you doing here? All right, I don't like surprises. We're gonna have to plug you two. The hell you will. Pop, I don't care about you becoming a broad, but why the hell did you leave me? Wait a sec. This lady's your father? Yeah, I used to be a man. Deal with it. Do you got any idea how tough it was growing up without a dad around? What? You think it didn't tear my heart out to leave? You abandoned your own kid? That's unconscionable. Let's kill her. Wait, wait. I want to see where this is going. If I stayed and got caught, do you think you would have ever grown up to be a capo? Nah, you would have been a laughingstock. See? What choice did she have? Well, he could have suppressed his desire to be a woman and raised his son. That would have made for a real healthy father-son relationship. You better forgive your dad, mister. You mind your business. Yeah! Jimmy, can you ever forgive me? Yeah. After all, you was just looking out for me. I'm sorry I had to leave. Come here, you. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna go call my stepdads. All seven of them. <laughs> Are you crying too? Don't look at me! <laughs> Pop, before you head out of town, let's enjoy the time we have together. I'd like that, Jimmy. Now what do you say we take these jokers' guns away and kick the shit out of them? Way ahead of you, kid. Come here! <laughs> mm, this is delicious, Cookie. What is it? A little thing I whipped up called Pony Parmigiano. Say, who's the dish, Jimmy? Mind if I take a crack at her? Cheech, uh, I don't know if you want to... Hey, gorgeous. Are you a thief? Because you stole my heart. Cheech, you're hitting on your own brother. I'll take that as a maybe. Well, gang, here's to family. Family! family. To family. How you doing? Who am I? None of your business. What's it to you? You are writing a book? That's how I'd be talking if I was still in the mob. The ancient Italian code of silence known as Omerta required us to keep our mouths shut. It all started back in Sicily, where the mob made an example of anyone who opened their mouth. Like this guy. All he did was ask a cop for directions. After that, no one ever talked to the cops. In fact, no one ever talked to anyone, just to be on the safe side. Even if my great-grandpa's <gasps> pants were on fire, he still would have kept his mouth shut. Hell of a guy. The whole village grinded to a halt. They had to come up with some way to communicate. Why Italians talk with their hands. Because of Omerta? I don't think that's true, Pop. Oh, yeah? Ow! You know what that means? Or did I stutter? Uh, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. This corset's so tight, my boobs are coming out my back. Why are we here? I gotta support my boss's side business, because he supports my Wednesdays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays off. Dinner where someone gets whacked. It's like I'm back home, except I'm dressed like an asshole. Oh, no! Someone shoot him, Rancher Dan! Ooh, the cavalry's here, albeit unscripted. Roll with it, everyone! Don't mind me, I'm just here to see. Buffalo, jump, Toby, you can't wear that. I can't even wear that. Jimmy, I'm afraid I have some pressing news. Great! Tell us at home! Let's go! Yeah! 
for Canada, where white people still think wearing these is okay. Oh, dances with horse make big I'm angry. Run many paces. Am I right, guys? Oh. All right, McCool, so what's this news? There's no easy way to say this. Oh, crap, we're moving again. Who'd you rat out this time, hop along sack of shit? I, for one, welcome a fresh start. That's because you got caught in class with a sleep boner. It's your grandmother in Sicily. No! no. I'm afraid she's dying. No! My God, why? <laughs> that woman is insane. Roll out the fluffy red carpet, Jesus, because there's an angel coming. Take me instead, Lord. No, take me! Take them both, God, please! I know your pain. I was absent when my own dear grandmother passed. They say she shrieked my name as the grizzly bear tore into her. <laughs> When I heard about your Nona, I resolved to bring her here for a final farewell. <laughs> huh? yeah. Are you out of your freaking mind? I don't want to see her. I hate that bitch. She's the whole reason I had an eating disorder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. You were all so upset when I said she was dying. She's family. You gotta make a big show in case God and all the neighbors are watching. But if she finds out we ratted on the mob... Yeah. We. Don't worry. Nona's practically comatose. She'll have no idea where she is. I'm not taking that chance. We gotta be ready to make her think it's the old life. No witness protection, no cops, nothing's changed. That might be tricky. She lands in two hours. <gasps> I'm coming, Jesus! All right, one more time. <gasps> Forget it about it. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry, I'm nervous. You heard me say it like a million times. <laughs> it's here. See, what did I tell you? Shh, Jimmy. Uh, that's right, Nona. It's Jimmy. Winnipeg Jets! She's up! That means you're up, Serpico. Make it good. Forget allowed in and out. So, Jimmy, I see you bring a the whore. Hello, Nona. And the crybaby. <laughs> Santa Lucia! Don't feed this one after midnight. And here's the fat one. Hi, Nona. It's nice to see. <laughs> Maroon! The eating of the leaves! Evening, Nona. You're looking lovely. Okay, Nona. Good to see you. Let's get this visit over with. Hey, wait for your cousin. What cousin? What cousin? Says the porky pig. <laughs> 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 It's nice. Apronia, come meet Dante's Inferno. You know that's your cousin, right? Technically not. I'm a McDougal. Too bad. It's way hotter if she's your cousin. Okay, let's get you home, Nona. You must be tired. Tired of your face. We no go home. I want to see Statue of Liberty. Uh, Nona, obviously we're in, uh, New York, which we are, but, uh, Statue of Liberty's a tall order. Why? This is a city that never sleep. I never take a bath. Oh, we go. You idiot! Apologize to Nona, like the stinking dog that you are. Hey ho, bada booba! Ha <laughs> I's a real a sorry there, uh, Nona Malona. Jesus Christ! I don't know why, but I like you. Now take me to Lady Liberty. How you doing, Paisan? I'm Cheech. She look. Smaller? Yeah, uh, budget cuts. Thanks a lot, Obama. We go. Uh, 
America is so romantic. It sure is. We invented drive through wedding chapels. So, Pietro, you have a sweetheart? No, I just haven't met the right cousin. Girl, I mean girl. <laughs> You know that's your cousin's ass you're groping. Ah! Would you stop reminding me? Houses are small. Business bad, Jimmy. No, uh, the mansion's being renovated. This is Petey's house. <laughs> is a Petey in the family business? Yeah, yeah, he's a chip off the old block. Petey, show Apollonia to a room. Don't tell me what to do in my own house! You believe this bitch? Nona, I made eggplant palm just for you. You hungry? Eggplant? Nona thought you just put cheese on a dirty sock. <laughs> This'll be your room. Huh, <laughs> plastic sheets. It's not what you think. I'm just a bedwetter. In the village, I always dream of America. Now I am here with handsome cousin, like a dream come true. If dreams came true, I'd be your handsome cuz. Oh, wait! Pietro, will you show Apollonia big banana? Banana? Well, it's kind of yellow and curves left. Oh, you mean the big apple! <laughs> I thought you meant my penis. Whoa, that's the first time I've ever said penis in front of a girl. You don't know what I'm saying, do you? Penis, 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 penis. I like you. Old hag wouldn't know good eggplant palm if it smothered her in her sleep with my favorite pillow. No, now, just because she spat it back onto her plate doesn't mean she didn't like it. Jimmy, I think if she finds out, she won't tattle. She's family. She's Sicilian! We broke Omerta, that sh runs deeper than blood. <laughs> I smell a the rat. <gasps> oh no, that's the whore's excuse for cooking. Where's all of your friends, Big Sheet? It's Big Shot. I know what I say. No friends to pay respect to Nona. Something not a right here. Put her in a bath, drop in a toaster, but a boom, pine box back to Italy. If she's onto us, we gotta send her back right now. If we send her back, she'll know we're onto her being onto us. Gina, run a bath. I'll get the toaster. <laughs> Eggplant Barb. So, you want a way out of this? I know just the guy to talk to. Who? I said. Who's that now? You know who I mean. It's. Thank you. Ah, uh, I said Timmy. Who's Timmy? You know, your friend there, Geronimo. Toby? That's the guy. Tony. <laughs> oh, Gina, you're gross. Still tastes better than that fucking eggplant. Your mystery dinner murder theater, Tippy. Toby, as long as it starts with a T. Shut up, Robbie. It's gotta be a New York gangster theme. Ooh, I love gangster stories. New Jack City, Boys in the Hood, the Goonies. What Goonies? I'm talking to Mafia. Cheech, this is not a good idea. How dare you come into my nephew's house and disrespect me like this? I go to kitchen, I mind my business. You see, Taco, that's the kind of authenticity we're looking for. Don't you worry. Authenticity is our new middle name at the Eastside Authenticity Players. Eastside Toby, this fighting's gone on too long. We gotta bring the families together, end the bloodshed, and eat some pasta! Blood is shed, uh, macaroni, mamma mia, Abba's the best. That's insulting and kind of racist, but you got the job. Oh, Jimmy, you won't be disappointed. 
That's not true, but whatever. Don't moosh this up. The only thing I'll be mooshing are the Italian peas. I think I want to kill him already. That's good. Use that. Aw, oh, did you come running to me because you're scared of the thunder? No, I come because you scared of a thunder. Thank you. Mm, I like you. I like you too, Apollonia, but we're cousins. Cousins. It's a, just a word. But it's forbidden. Except in Kentucky and parts of Manitoba. What about Regina? You know we're not in New York? Yes. I no understand, but I no care. I'm uh, sorry. I cannot. I know. It's wrong, but it feels so right. What can we do? I get the new sheets. And pajama bottoms. Hey, everybody. Look, it's Jimmy Spaghetti and the Spaghetti family. And you brought the little meatball. Ooh, she looks mad. Toby, I told you to call us the Falcone family. It's very important. I thought about it, Jimmy, but Falcone is just too on the nose. Are you kidding me? Jimmy, you're Scottish. I worked in Italy, Ceramic Tile Bazaar, for three years. I know a thing or two about the land of grout and marble. Get those cotton balls out of your mouth. You look like an idiot. But that's what Marlon Brando used in his portrayal of the game. Brando's not even Italian. And for the record, neither is Bratwurst. And why is there a Mexican flag up there? <laughs> Jimmy, we're walking a tightrope here, and it's windy. Careful not to blow your cover. Which cover? That I'm a gangster, or I'm not a gangster? I don't know. My mind's racing to keep up. Machu Picchu! Seriously, it's way better if you don't talk. Jimmy, this is all terrible. Nona's not gonna buy it. Oh, is that El Pacino? I'm gonna get an autograph. Hey, Jimmy Spaghetti with the great big belly. Eat! You want more ranch dip for your pizza bagels? Look at that Larry Linguini! Who let such a snake into this gathering of honorable men? Toss him out with the rest of the garbage! Wink, wink! I hope you're enjoying the show! Of respect? Show of respect, right, Nona? I go to the ladies' room and drop, how you say, uh, cookies, eggplant, parmesan. I think she's buying it. We're gonna be okay. We're more than okay. I'm Facebook friends with Pacino. Hey, everyone! We just got married! What? <laughs> and someone killed Larry Linguini! <gasps> My baby boy's married to his freaking cousin! We have to abort! I agree. I do not want a two-headed cousin baby running around. No, Jimmy, the mission! First, we gotta break up this marriage before Nona finds out and tells half of Sicily that Apollonia married Petey Falcone! By the way, Jimmy, my congratulations. Little something for the happy couple? Aw, you shouldn't have. Will you forget about that? Just go keep Nona in the bathroom. Cook, you scare some sense into Apollonia. I'll go beat the shit out of Petey. Look, I know in the old country, people marry the cousins all the time. But you don't want to be married to a pimply chronic masturbator. Plus, look at you and look at him. You're so beautiful. And he's... he's... Uh, handsome? A strong? What are you, a crackhead? The guy's a loser! What is a loser? A gavon, an idiot, a bonehead! I have to love him, but you got a choice. Ah, uh, see, si, see. Si. Oh, one a second. Don't you disrespect to my husband! Ow! Hey! What? Just making sure he's sharp. Hey, and Anona! The big abasa says that you gotta stay in the washroom, uh, cause a Larry Linguini's killer is still running around. Bada bada bingo! 
Such a nice boy. Shut up your face. Sulfur Mountain, that is unholy. I know you're disappointed you weren't at the ceremony, but our love just couldn't wait. I don't give a crap about your ceremony. She's your cousin! You bang him, you don't marry him. What is this, Kentucky? No, it's Regina, and guess what? My wife knows, and she doesn't care. You told her this ain't New York? Are you nuts? Oh, God, I gotta talk to Cookie. Cheech, keep Petey away from Apollonia. You can't keep us apart. We're family now. Again. Still. You know, I'm starting to like this chick. I think she really loves my boy. Welcome to the family. She was already in the family. Don't ruin this, Gina. Hey, Jimmy Spaghetti, I need a to talk to you. Not now, Toby. How dare you disrespect me at the wedding of your son to my daughter? What'd he say? Nothing. Kiss me! Daughter, what the fuck are you talking about? The wedding threw me off. I had to improvise. Which is why we're now called the Aside Authenticity Improvisational Players. Another domain name I have to check. Never mind the wedding. But this union will bring our families together. What the wedding? If your boy hurts a my girl, I'll kill a you, Jimmy! Please, adieu. Why you want to be married? Look at me. I'm free as a bird. I got my options open. Sky's the limit. You live alone in a basement. Never let it go. You hear me? Never let it go. And name your firstborn after me. I don't care how many heads it's got. Excuse me, everyone. I've always said there's nothing more important than family. And apparently, my son agrees with a vengeance. So, it's my honor to announce the first dance between Petey... Cookie, no! ...and his beautiful and surprisingly stabby bride, Apollonia. Oh, dear God. Let's do this, Nona! Stop right there, Petey Spaghetti! You thought you fooled us with this elaborate and unscripted wedding. Well, you didn't. You murdered Larry Linguini. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Apollonia no married is a monster. This family bring a shame to me. Crime, murder, but no more. No, no, calm down, please. <laughs> Cosa Nostra. No, no, stop. I'm not in the mob anymore. I ratted out my old bosses, and now I'm in witness protection. In Canada. <gasps> Is it true, Jimmy? Is it true, Nona? I'm just a civilian now, a schnook. Nona, so happy. Thank you, Jesus. Finally, Jimmy, see the light. Your cover's blown. I'll have you inside the Arctic Circle by morning. That's further north, isn't it? Jimmy, that's so far north, Cheech will probably bang Santa's wife. <sighs> Take a bow, Jimmy, quick! Jimmy McDougal, everybody! Brought to you by the Eastside Authenticity Improvisational Surprise Ending Players! Bravo! So, Nona, you're not mad? No, Jimmy. For once, I'm proud of you. But I betrayed Omerta. I don't care about Omerta. It's just a big, stupid stereotype about Sicilians. Now I'm gonna go and make a nice pizza pie. Does this mean Apollonia and I have your blessing? No. Apollonia no marry the monster who kill a Larry Linguini. <gasps> How you doing? I used to be Jimmy Falcone, a big shot in the New York crime family. Now I'm in witness protection in Canada. But I'll never forget that day. I was forced to leave the only home I've ever known. Cookie, kids, get your butts in gear. Let's get this vacation started. Canada awaits. Daddy, just because we're going overseas doesn't make this a vacation. I ain't denying it. I was in denial. I couldn't face the fact that I was leaving everyone I ever loved and taking my wife and kids with me. Isn't this fun? A family road trip. Who's up for another round of window uppy downy? Up, down, up, down. Whoa. Up, up, 
He always knows what it's gonna do. All right. You'll be under RCMP protection from here on. Off you go. It's cool! <laughs> Welcome to Canada. Bienvenue. Come along. I have blankets and whiskey for all of you. This will warm your cockles. If it's gonna warm my cockles, I'll need a bigger blanket. I'm Special Agent Straight McCool. My mission is to help you assimilate, keep a low profile, and ensure you don't violate our nation's laws. I'm sorry. Violate what? <laughs> what a spirited group. I loved this assignment the minute I was given it. Let the protection begin. Hop in. You gotta be shitting me. And then they took us to this crazy place called Vagina... Regina. Saskatchewan. But if any of you are thinking about a vacation up here, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the Gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. City, home of the Jews, the body of mobster Paul Vincenzo was pulled from the Hudson River. Foul play is suspected. Hey, look! Paulie the Target got whacked. I can't believe it. He was always so careful. I wonder who did it. I'm guessing Vinny April did it. The Hudson's always been his go-to. Nah, look at the bruises on his face. Must have been Benny the Bruiser. My money's on Timmy, sissy bum. That guy'll f you up. Two ones? Holy craps! Snake Eyes! It was my cousin Sammy! That's the worst nickname ever! No, it's my cousin, comma, Sammy. Comma, Sammy? That's even worse. Your nephew, Nimrod! Snake Eyes Sammy! The guy's in trouble! If we can figure out he did it, so can Paulie's crew! Which means he's about to get whacked! I gotta save him! Ah, he's always about to get whacked. He's a good boy. You know, I still can't believe you stole Cookie from him. Whoa, I didn't steal no one. He was sent to Juvie, and Cookie needed his shoulder to cry on. All I did was show up with a hanky and a salami. You were so sweet, you big lug. You repoed my heart. And you stole mine. And then I stole you that necklace. So I hereby announce my candidacy for student council president. What's your platform? My platform? Thanks for asking, concerned student. If you elect me, I will ban all corporate sponsorship from school grounds. Let's send the message that young minds are not for sale. Who's with me? That was painful to watch. What I have to say is important. I, I just can't get anyone to listen. Oh, little brother, you're so lame. The key to drawing a crowd isn't what you say, it's what you show. Thanks for coming to my brother's president thingy. We love you! And I have loved a ton of you. So I want you all to vote for my brother on the day you're supposed to vote, whenever that is. The issues. Tell them the issues. First off, more corporate sponsorship. <laughs> it's no more corporate sponsorship. Oh, it's just one word. It doesn't matter. More bullying! <laughs> It's no more bullying. You have to add the word no. Okay. No more funding for music and the arts. I got your message, Jimmy. How can I be of assistance? I got a problem. My cousin Snake Eye Sammy whacked Pauly the target. That's a serious accusation. I meant it as a compliment. But trust me, it was Sammy. He left his dice that always come up ones. All us wise guys have calling cards. My dad left an Italian sausage, Cheech left a cocktail onion. My calling card was a calling card. I figured I'd give the grieving family some minutes. I get that. Horse also likes to leave a calling card. Hey, same as Johnny Brandflakes. You gotta get Sammy out of there. When police guys track him down, they'll torture him to rat me out. How could Sammy know where you are? I texted him. Mom, you have to talk Teresa out of running. She's just gonna embarrass herself. 
Petey, I think it's great that your sister's finally realized there's more to life than binging, purging, and shopping. Are you sure you're not a little threatened by your chances? Are you kidding? I'm totally threatened by your chances. That's why you gotta get her out of this. Petey, I'm not going to choose one of my children over the other. I love you all equally. You'll just have to make the best of it. Don't say I never do you any favors. I never say you don't do me any favors. Your whole job is doing me favors. I know, I just wanted a good entrance line. Hey, Kaz, guess who? Sammy! Jimmy. Ho -ho! <laughs> hey, everyone, Sammy's here. I'll leave you two to your embrace. But remember, Jimmy, you vouched for him, so you're responsible for him. Hey, how you hey, doing? Good to see you. How's it going? How is the trip, cuz? A breeze. Canadian cops are so freaking friendly. Which reminds me, I got presents for all of yous. Cheech, you son of a gun. Petey, you's getting so big. Teresa, holy moly, you must be the little squirt. And Cookie, I'm sorry I dropped your present in the squad car, but may I say, you look like a million. You're so full of it. Keep it coming. <laughs> Wait a sec. Is that pasta for Joel that I'm smelling? Your favorite. Welcome to Regina. Stun gun? Just what I always wanted. I'm a huge fan of your work, Cousin Snake Eyes. I can't wait to learn from the master. Ah! I'm all yours, kiddo, as soon as I'm done catching up with the real master. I am humbled to be in your presence. Really? I thought the folks back home would be mad about how I ratted everybody out. Ah, forget the ratting. Concentrate on the killing. You whacked on Gambini, for Christ's sakes. You're a legend. A legend? Really? You kidding me? Your nickname back home is the guy who whacked Don Gambini. Now that's a nickname. So much better than that cousin comma guy. The guy who whacked Don Gambini. It's got a nice ring to it. Wait, you saying I can go back home and they won't whack me? Oh, they'll still whack you, but with respect. Oh, that's so nice of them. But Sammy, I ain't like I used to be. I keep a low profile, stay out of trouble, and now you got it too. Sit down. Let me explain how life here works. <laughs> Gina, if you're gonna have a stun gun, you gotta use it responsible. Give me that thing. First off, you gotta... Jesus! What's wrong with this? They used to have a safe... Take it! Just take it! Cookie, I'm sorry I dropped your present in the squad car. I feel terrible. But you look great. I had to give you something. So, here. Oh, that's beautiful! Wait a minute. Isn't this the same necklace you gave Teresa? No. Mom, I can't find my new necklace. Maybe. <laughs> Sammy, you haven't changed one bit. Neither have you, Cookie. You haven't aged a day since high school. Yeah, those were good times. Remember the time we made out in the confession booth and confessed in real time? How could I forget? It was like, oh, God, Hail Mary. Oh, God, Hail Mary. <laughs> <laughs> And remember that time at junior prom when we kissed on the dance floor and the principal separated us so you gave him a wedgie? It was my very first kiss. And my very first wedgie. Mm. 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 Sammy, get out here! What are you drinking? So, that just happened. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Will you quit talking about my womb? Jesus Christ, you talk! It's not that big a deal. You got a light? I... I can't believe it. Yeah, I know it's bad for me. I'm trying to cut down. I tried the patch. That works for s***. All right, let's get down to business. Your ex kissed you, and now you're feeling ashamed and conflicted. You know exactly what's going on in my heart. You're truly miraculous. You do know I'm a figment of your imagination, right? You're too modest. Whatever. These feelings you have are completely normal. You fell for Jimmy because he was a bad boy, but he ain't no more. Enter Sammy. And these feelings won't go away unless you do something about them. You think I should tell Jimmy? Hell no! Do you know how Joseph was when I had someone else's kid? Moping and whining all the time? He wouldn't let it go. Always asking, who was bigger, Mary? Who was bigger? Who needs that, Cyrus? So what are you telling me? Get it out of your system. Have some fun with a guy. <gasps> you mean commit adultery? I could never do that. Technically, you already have. No, 
I haven't. When Jimmy gives it to you, you think about Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Carrot Top. I don't know what that's about. The point is, it's a slippery slope. No, there's a big difference between thinking about someone and doing him. I cannot believe the Virgin Mary is telling me to have sex with another man. You're gonna burn in hell anyway, so what are you waiting for? These commandments aren't gonna break themselves. I figured I'd give you a tour. Get you used to your new home. Oh, after that meal, a walk's just what I need. Ain't nothing like that woman's cooking, huh? She's a real keeper. Yeah, cookie's the best. So, you guys happy? Yeah, sure. For real happy? Or I'm just saying that because I'm a married guy and I'm dead inside happy? Closer to the first one. On a scale of one to ten. Sammy, what are you getting at? Whoa, this is the little Italy in this town. Any great... Sometimes we just come here and hang out for hours. How's the food? You kidding me? The place is run by a Chinaman. It won't happen overnight, but you'll adjust. See? Look at them. That used to be us. You're misremembering. We used to sneak up behind wimps like that and take their money. Then we'd force them to tell us where they lived and hold up their parents. Sammy, cut it out. Listen. Going straight ain't bad, especially in a city where there's, like, zero crime. Exactly. It's a freaking gold mine. We're gonna clean up here. No. Look, I pulled a lot of strings to get you into witness protection. Well, one. I only got one string, but I pulled it. So we can't live the old life. Now, come on. Let's go to Little Italy and get an egg roll. This is where I work. It's a good job. A great job. I love this job. Proud of this job. You believe me? Jimmy, this is my bad. I was probably unclear when I explained it. Our policy is that staples must be lined up vertically, not horizontally. That's it. Do you have ow, any ow, idea ow, 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 who ow, ow. this man is? So, anyway, Toby, I was wondering if you could give my cousin a job. You'll just wind up making a fool of yourself. It's not like this is something you even care about. You're the one who'll make a fool of herself. You don't even have a platform. Hello? No, a platform is issues. A president should know this. You don't have any issues. Well, actually, you have lots of issues, but nothing to run on. Politics is a bitch. Bitch. Issues I'm, like, running on. <laughs> If you elect me your school president, you will get to look at me all the time. <laughs> and girls, if you don't vote for me, I will so screw you over. Thank you for seeing me, Jimmy. I didn't know I had a choice. Well, you didn't. I was being polite. Although I guess it was rude of me to say that, and for that, I'm sorry. Uh, me too? What's up? The crime rate, Jimmy. And I have no doubt that it's mostly due to your cousin Sammy. You can't prove nothing. Not yet, but it's just a matter of time. If Sammy goes to jail and talks, we'll have to move you to Quebec, and you have enough trouble with English. Do you really want to live somewhere where they speak French? I'm torn. I love their fries, toast, and kissing, but berets make my face look fat. I'm not kidding around, Jimmy. Get him in line, or else. For Canada! with a per capita murder rate only slightly worse than Denmark. I just spoke to McCool. You gotta help me with Sammy. What's wrong? The guy's robbing anything he could get his hands on and he's gonna ruin everything for us. You're being too hard on him, Jimmy. <laughs> Let me see that. It's so much fun, Ma. Best toy I ever got. So this is what a stun gun looks like. So where was I? Oh yeah, Sammy. You're being too hard on him. He's a bad boy, like you used to be. I think you're jealous. Why would I be jealous? Did I say you're jealous? I meant Sammy naked. I mean, how can I help? I can't watch him all the time. So when I'm at work and the kids are at school, you gotta keep an eye on his every move. You gotta be on him like white on rice. If he tries to get you off, you dig in and hold on tight. Where he goes, you go. When he comes- Stop it! What? I don't know. Look, Jimmy, 
as long as we're on the subject of Sammy, there's something I should maybe tell you. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I wish I could have some kind of sign telling me what to do. Guess who just robbed that bank? You idiot! Now that's what I call a sign. Do you know how much trouble you could get us into? Jimmy, let him go! Let's at least hear his side of the story. Fine. Thank you, Cookie. Okay, I staked out the bank, I hit the bank, I made off with the loot. Bada me! Let me at him! Jimmy, stop! He's a reasonable man. Just talk to him. It took us a while to adjust to the rules when we got here. He's your cousin for crying out loud. Blood. Hey, everyone. I'd like you to meet my new doll. Kill him. And in second place with 12 votes, Jason Hitler. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. Don't worry, mine, Jason. There are better ways to seize power. And your new president with 33 votes, Peter McDougal. What? How could I not have won? Teresa, you never registered yourself as a candidate. But Petey said he'd do that for me. You didn't do that for me? Politics is a bitch, bitch. Whoa! What was that for? Jimmy saves your life, you do nothing but ignore everything he tells you, then you make a pass at his wife, and then you show up with some bimbo! In my defense, I made a pass at his wife and was turned down. That's why I got a bimbo. And what the hell did you kiss me for anyway? It really bothered me. Honestly, Cookie, I've been a wreck about it too. I got caught up in the moment. It was nostalgia. Old times. You look good. And you smelled nice. Knock it off! We may have to move because of what you've done. And as crappy as this town is, this is Canada. Things can always get worse. What are you thinking? I don't know, Cookie. I'm not thinking anything. I don't plan things. They just happen. I'm not smart like you and Jimmy and Cheech. Run a cheese. Who? Where did all that come from? Sammy robbed the first vagina credit union. He's always been a good boy. No, it's terrible. McCool's already on to him. Sammy's gonna get arrested, and we'll all have to move to Quebec City, France! I never liked that, Sammy. We gotta get them their money back, but without anyone knowing it was us who returned it. We gotta somehow break into the bank and make them take it back. The old reverse heist. Nobody freeze! Put your hands down and get up off the floor! Don't do what I say or you'll all get hurt! Exactly. Instead of outlaws, we'll be in-laws. Hey, Jimmy, I've been thinking. I'm real sorry about all the trouble I caused. I'll do anything to make it right. You just name it. You're going to help Cheech and I return the money. Did I hear you right? You're going to take perfectly good stolen money and return it to a bank? Those crooks! i never been so ashamed of this family. Gina. You broke my heart, Father. It's go time, boys. Put on your masks. Too bad the mask store was out of friends' masks. I had my heart set on being Rachel. Rock and roll. Everyone freeze! This ain't a robbery! Underground, you mugs. Now! Nobody be a hero! Now, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna open a safe, and you're gonna put this money inside it. Have you filled out a deposit slip? It ain't a deposit! Well, if you'd like to make an investment, you'll have to speak with Mr. Fielding but he's on vacation till Thursday. I just want to give you this money! I can't process anything without an account number. Maybe this'll change your mind. <coughs> well? I can't process anything without an account number. This must be why the reverse heist never caught on. Just take it, will ya? We got made, dirty screws! <laughs> What are you doing? I don't know. But we gave the money back! Jimmy! 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 What? Hi. Ah, oh, for f sake. 
You die on me, Sammy. Not now. Not here. Not like this. Looks like the bastards got me. Those bastards! It was just a matter of time. I lived a reckless life. I took too many chances. Plenty of unprotected sex. Shh. Don't talk. Jimmy, I gotta get this off my chest. When we was eight years old, I swept 20 bucks from my dad and blamed it on you. I know. It's okay. And when we was 14, and you got caught with all that weed, I was the one who hid it in your locker. Shh, 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 shh. save your strength. And when we was 16, and your sister got knocked up, that was me. You really gotta stop now. All this was a long time ago. And yesterday, I made a pass at your wife. Earlier today, too. You should probably die now. Okay. Saskatchewan, la 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 la